The internet is the global communication network that allows almost all computers worldwide to connect and exchange information. The internet originated in the late 1960s when the United States Defense Department developed ARPANET, the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, an experimental network of computers designed to guarantee communication in the case of a nuclear attack. 1991 was a big year for the internet. The National Research and Education Network, or NRENS, was founded and a World Wide Web was released. The internet was still dominated by scientists and other academics, but public interest was largely increased. With the release of the Mosaic web browser in 1993 and Netscape in 1994, interest in and use of the World Wide Web exploded. More and more communities became wired, enabling direct connections to the internet. The internet continues to experience staggering growth. More people use the internet to get connected to others, find information, conduct business, and share information more than ever before in history. So what's next? What's the future for the internet? And now a heartbreaking case to bring to you tonight, and it is something a parent should never, ever have to see. Cyberbullying is the repeated use of internet email, instant messages, chat rooms, pagers, cell phones, or other forms of information technology to deliberately hurt, taunt, ridicule, threaten, or intimidate someone. A mother found her daughter who had committed suicide all because she was being bullied. WRL Six, the story of Megan Meyer. Now at 13 years old, which is the minimum age to sign up for a social networking site, Megan signed up for MySpace, and pretty soon she received a message from a 16-year-old boy. This kid said that he was just moved into a new town, he was being homeschooled, and he didn't have a phone or anything that he could talk to her with, so MySpace was the only way they could communicate with each other. And they got to talking and sharing a lot of personal stuff. But on October 15th of that year, the tone of those boys' messages changed, and he started getting really nasty with her. And one of the messages he sent to her was, I don't know if I want to be friends with you anymore because I heard you're not very nice to your friends. And she picked up that rope, and she fought back. And over the next day or so, they started going back and forth, having really nasty conversations with each other. And it escalated to the point where on October 16th, she received this final message from him. He said to her, everybody in O'Fallon, the town he said he was from, knows how you are. You're a bad person and everybody hates you. Have a horrible rest of your life. The world would be a better place without you. To which she replied, you're the type of boy a girl would kill herself over. 20 minutes later, her mom found her hanging dead in her closet. Suicide is the third leading cause of death among young people, resulting in about 4,400 deaths per year. As for cyberbullying, more than one-third of young people have experienced threats online. On July 2006, a nationwide survey was conducted by Opinion Corporation for Fight Crime in order to predict the number of adolescents whom had been bullied within the past years. The survey concluded that 31% of teens between the ages of 12 and 14 had been cyberbullied versus 40% of teens between 15 and 17 years of age. On October 2013, we conducted a survey within 80 participants between the ages of 16 and 25. We compared both genders to see who had experienced the most cyberbullying as well as to see who had conducted the most bullying online. Our results showed that 45% of males had experienced cyberbullying and 28% of males had taken a part in cyberbullying others. On the other hand, 55% of females had experienced cyberbullying and 25% of females had taken a part in cyberbullying others. In conclusion from our survey, females have experienced the most cyberbullying and males have taken a part in cyberbullying others the most. Overall, 50% of our participants had experienced cyberbullying and 26% had taken a part in cyberbullying others. She didn't get arrested. There was no charges to press because what laws were there? She walked away with a slap on the wrist. She basically committed murder and got away with it. Within the United States, less than half of 50 states have a law against cyberbullying. Less than 50 states protect its adolescents who get abused daily and at times in the long run in their lives. An online table represents that out of 50 states in the United States, only 18 states protect their citizens from cyberbullies. As of July 2013, the states in which obtain a law are Arkansas, California, Connecticut, Florida, Hawaii, Kansas, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Missouri, Nevada, New Hemisphere, New York, North Carolina, Oregon, Tennessee, Utah, Virginia, and Washington. The Texas law against bullying states that bullying means engaging in written or verbal expression 
through electronic means or physical conduct that occurs on school property, at a school-sponsored or school-related activity, or in a vehicle operated by the district. Aside from this, adolescents living in Texas are not protected once they step foot outside of school walls. A child may be a victim of cyberbullying if he or she unexpectedly stops using the computer, appears nervous or jumpy when an instant message, text message, or email appears, appears uneasy about going to school or outside in general, appears to be angry, depressed, or frustrated after using the computer, avoids discussions about what they are doing on the computer, becomes abnormally withdrawn from usual friends and family members. So please, if you have or know anyone that has experienced cyberbullying contact, www.stopbullying.gov backslash get dash help dash now backslash index dot html or call the cyberbullying hotline at 1-800-448-3000. If you see it, report it and save a life.